In this part, I'm going to be sighting connectors in the kayak's hull and routing some of the through hull wiring. Not all of it, but connections for motor power and battery monitor at least. The way that this will work is my cables plug in like this. Monitor that and accessory power here. And I'll just get rid of this for now because it's in the way. And these will need to route to somewhere that the cable can actually get to on the surface the kayak hull. So there are two challenges with this. One is obvious looking at this, that is available real estate. The other is these areas of the kayak hull are not accessible from the inside. I have to have some other way to mount surface mount connectors like this that screw in from the front. In the battery box I was able to put nuts on the back side. I can't do that here. The plan to deal with that is to use this sheet of black anodized aluminum to make mounting plates for these connectors so that I can put screws through and nuts on the back side using the seal that they come with. And then to cut this panel to fit each use case and secure it with top rivets. So these are they're called star rivets or something like that. I forget exactly what they're called. But they, they spread out a lot more than pop rivets. With this material, I don't want to just screw into it because HDPE is really soft. The manufacturer's screws that are in this um, are just wood screws, a lot of them, just screwed straight into the material, and a lot of them that are under stress are already working themselves out. So I'm going to have to go through the whole thing and replace all of those. I don't want to add to my problems, so I'm going to be using these rivets that sandwich the material of the hull in between rather than trying to thread into it. The first major objective is to gain some real estate. What I'm working with here is I've got rails on both sides, rod holder, another rail here. I've got a little bit of space here. Oh, and my, uh, my hold downs, my tie downs and I have a little bit of space here. So I can mount a connector here for the motor, but the motor will actually have two because it has a control cable as well. I have no space to put that. I have no space to put a corresponding connector over here. I don't want to just route a big cable through the well. This is my cargo area. I want to preserve that and keep it uncluttered. I need a mounting place over here. This connector will have a mate over here. You could possibly put it there. I may need to remove the rod holder and put a plate over it that I can put connectors on. I need a mounting point for the battery monitor connector as well. Maybe these could all go over here, and I can shorten these rails. I think what I'll do is put this connector over here, and these two here. I'll shorten this rail somewhat. I don't want to take it out, because I need it for the motor mount that I plan to build for this. This motor mount is temporary. So I'll shorten the rail, and make use of this extra real estate. Now I've made some space. 
and I need to plan the locations of four connectors. All right, here's what I think I want to do. The other end of this cable and its mate can loop around and plug in here without giving me a, a huge loop out here. The mates for these two can be on a panel here. The other end of the motor power cable here. The motor control here. I'm not going to worry about the other end of the motor control at this time. That will be farther up there and I haven't gotten to that part of the project yet, the modifying the motor. So I'll run this cable, the motor power cable. The accessory power connector, this. I'm also not going to complete that route at this time either. I don't have all the parts yet. At, at the other end of that cable will be two of these USB power jacks, one for each of the two kayak seats, and another jack for a fish finder. I probably will run this cable for the battery monitor up to its connection farther forward. Um, I don't know exactly where that will be yet. I need to do a little more head scratching on that. For now, I can get going on these things. These connector placements allow me to mount each in a panel with enough space around the outside to accommodate these very large uh, rivet flanges at the corners.
Okay, so where was I? Right, I was putting the battery box in here so that I could determine how long to cut the motor power wire. I think that is about the sharpest bend radius that I can really subject this cable to. I don't want it to stick out here too far. So the cut length is going to be about right there. Oh look, I got spoo on it too. That's neat. To test this, I have this old uh, Minn Kota 65 rolling motor that I've been using as a temporary motor. I've hacked it to bring out the uh, power cable and to bring out the throttle switch to a remote so I can control it from my seat. Making this kind of wiring for the final trolling motor is what this connector is all about and the wiring associated with that. I'm going to do the same thing, take the hand throttle control and just bring it out to a remote. For now, this is my temporary setup that keeps me on the water while this project is underway. I will use this motor to test. So, power on. Forward. See, the motor is turning. The next priority is this very same motor control cable. And I want to bring the cable out right here, where I can run it along here and up to a hand control here. Thank you.